Being the stunt performer, you're maybe one of the coolest people on set because we get to play for a living. Eighty-seven Eleven Action Design does action sequences for film from beginning to end. And what we do is we choreograph fight scenes or action sequences, and then we execute the filming of them in the actual movie. The performers that we have today are incredible acrobats, free-running parkour artists. Some of them have a dance background in break dancing. You need people with extreme talents. I was a gymnast. I don't have a fight background at all. I literally threw my first punch <laughs> when I stepped foot in this gym. Every job is different. The Hunger Games, it's more running and jumping. Something like X-Men, it's more like fighting and flipping. It was sort of that passion for martial arts that led me to get into stunts, but then also to build this company. There are actors that they can do 90% of their stunts, and they can do them better than the stunt performers. I would say Brad Pitt and Matt Damon. Hugh Jackman is one of those freakish athletes. But even then, the stunt double is essential to how that character is evolved. <laughs> there are a lot of tricks to the trade. The stunt double is more prominent in the film than you really realize. And there are ways to disguise them the way you photograph them. A lot of our stuff is rigging oriented, safety wires, photography that we apply to green screen elements that make us look like we're in a dangerous spot. An action sequence or a fight scene, if you can't see the face, I would say it's usually a stunt double. Most of the time, they're not hitting each other or making contact. There are accidents sometimes where people do get hit. And yeah, definitely bruised up a lot. Personally, I've had knee reconstruction and I've had broken my wrist in four places and a couple concussions. It is part of the job. You accept the risk when you get into stunts. Oh.